We noted the amount of criticism and questioning regarding this decision in the UK and internationally. Mainstream media outlets in the UK have called the government's plan appalling, saying it is chilling to think about that vulnerable people are going to be taken all the way to another country. The Archbishop of Canterbury openly criticized the British government's move, saying it will cause serious ethical questions and cannot stand the judgment of God. The UNHCR has repeatedly pointed out that the move is unlawful and that people should not be traded like commodities, urging the UK to rethink the plans. Uh, Gillian Triggs, UNHCR's Assistant High Commissioner for Protection, said that UNHCR remains firmly opposed to arrangements that seek to transfer refugees and asylum seekers to third countries in the absence of sufficient safeguards and standards. Uh, the UK has long portrayed itself as a defender of human rights and regularly criticizes other countries regarding their domestic affairs in the name of human rights. However, when it comes to its own refugee and migrant issues, the UK chooses to be oblivious to the human rights standards and humanitarian that it has constantly sought to champion. The UK is shying away from responsibilities and even tried to outsource the asylum seekers. The rationale given by British officials only convinces people of how often the UK only cares about what others can do for the UK, rather than the UK's own obligations when it comes to human rights. The British government needs to stop being arrogant and hypocritical on the issue of human rights and take serious actions to respond to the criticism from home and abroad.